Um, now, I'm really interested, actually, just to contextualise what your point is on the Tories and family. Just, if you don't mind me asking about your family, because you had, a bit like me, I grew up with an alcoholic mother. Mm. I know that both of your parents were alcoholics. And I would imagine that when it comes to you calling now for family-friendly tax policies, particularly in the Tory party, that must have been born out of your experience having quite a difficult childhood. Uh, well, I, I would say definitely. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, my father died when I was four of apparently a fall when he was drunk. And uh, uh, I, th I think there may, you know, there may be other some story at the back of that, which I'm not aware of. But my sister and I um, grew up. We, we went from reasonably well off to bankruptcy to uh, what happens to poverty, neglect and shame. Shame's a big thing. And um, my mother was alcoholic. She struggled. Uh, she wasn't healthy. And she actually did rather well. And it was when I was about 15 that instead of being frightened of her, in a way, um, and, and living in a background of chaos, uh, I was actually at a state boarding school uh, in a grammar school, which mm. had stability, whereas my sister didn't. Um, but um, it was when I was about 15 that I, it, it sort of... I had a little contretemps with her when we were watching TV and she was drunk and she was calling me all little words and things, but um, I, I suddenly felt sorry for her. And at that point, it sort of the relationship changed and I realised that the problems uh, that were there, that were facing us all. And um, I, I think that sort of coloured my view ever since that she needed help yeah. and, and she needed uh, some sensible care and strength behind her. I mean, you had this really difficult childhood. Then you go on to be hugely successful in business. Um, you know, you're a now very wealthy man. And I've got lots of different interests in the interests of transparency. You're also a shareholder now of GB News. Very happy to channel. Yeah. Um, You've got your fingers in quite a few pies. And that's happened against a backdrop of great adversity. So when it comes to looking at the Tory party now, I know you've previously been a donor. Will you still continue to donate? Because I know you're unhappy about particularly tax policy in this country. We're sort of unique in the Western world, aren't we, in that we tax couples individually rather than looking at household income when it comes exactly, to tax. Exactly, yeah. In fact, on that point, I think if you look at Europe, I think we're, we're almost the outlier. Um, the, the Europeans either uh, tax on total family um, taxation uh, or, or uh, transferable family allowances from, from one to the other. Um, so we are an outlier. We, we, we live in a culture where governments, successful, successive governments have actually sort of um, supported the individual mm. rather than families. And uh, I've been sort of saying family, family, family uh, for a long time. But for one reason or another, you, you see very few supportive policies coming out of Labour or out of Conservative. But why, why do we think this is? Because you've carried out this really interesting research. Um, there's a poll that's found that eight in 10 parents of dependent children think that they'd be more inclined to vote Conservative if the Conservatives come out with family-friendly tax policies. Yeah. So that seems to me to be a no-brainer, not least yeah. if you're 20 points behind. But why is there this sort of anti-family uh, ethos? Well, I mean, I, I'm not sure I, I, I know the full reason for that. I, there is certainly an ethos of um, expressive liberalism. Mm -hmm. um, you can call it individual liberalism, uh, whereby we live in a culture which says, you know, do what you like, uh, do what you want to do, just don't hurt other people. Mm. Uh, the fact is, though, that when, that when you have a culture like that of, of individuals, you do hurt other people. Probably you hurt yourself in the long run, but you also hurt children, particularly who, who aren't cared for when you have br broken families. And we have one of the worst records for broken families in Europe as well. I mean, I know you've got some stick in the past for talk, talk, talking about fatherlessness. Yeah. I mean, apparently we're not allowed to talk about fatherlessness yeah. and whether it leads to problems in society, yeah. whether it leads to crime and all the rest of it. What's your view on that? Well, I, I, we should talk about fatherlessness. I mean, I didn't have a father and I grew up with quite a lot of problems for a boy. 
you know, you, you don't know how to change an electric plug sort of thing. Mm. You aren't guided. You aren't given a discipline of saying, no, don't do that. And yes, do do this. You, so Although I mean, single mothers might argue, look, I'm actually better off without my feckless husband. There's lots of very strong single mothers who bring up perfectly decent civilians in this country, right? I think the single mother is an icon which we bow down to, which we shouldn't. I'm sure there's most single mothers would like to have a loving man next to them to help them out with their children. Mm. Uh, th there's, there's no doubt about that. And single mothers struggle. Uh, and, and that's one of the reasons why, why we should have... I mean, this poll I've done is directed at Jeremy Hunt at the Treasury saying, do a budget which is friendly for families. Mm. Because actually what my poll shows it would affect how people vote quite big time. Have you it, spoken to the Chancellor about no, it? No, I haven't, haven't. We're going to present it to him. And but, what do you but, expect the reaction might be? Uh, I, I, well, I've spoken to him before about family policies, and there's sort of been a quiet, gentle rejection. Mm. But I think you made a point uh, some time about, you called it retail policies. Mm. This is a retail policy. This, uh, having a budget which is friendly for families is a policy which people will say, OK, actually, I might vote Conservative for that because it, there, there's overwhelming support. And the funny thing is, in the 18 to 24-year-old grouping, mm. it's the highest level of support. And I thought to myself, yeah, why that's is that? that's quite surprising, isn't it? But it's yeah. as if younger people want to have that stability and that fairness if they're in a couple. Presumably, they aspire to own their own home, exactly. to start their own family, and they want to be advantaged because of that situation. Yeah. What I know you're a Rishi Sunak supporter. I mean, what do you make of the current state of things? His polling is terrible. Yeah. His approval rating is worse, I think, than Johnson's during Partygate. Yeah. He's never been seen as more competent, would you believe, than Liz Truss. But the party should stick with him, should they, Lord Farmer? Well, I think we have to. And uh, I mean, I, you know, I know Rishi, uh, he works very hard. He's, he's very detailed. I think he's done quite a lot of good things. Um, he hasn't maybe got out there and, and taken it to Labour. He, he, he isn't fighting Labour. It's difficult to fight Labour when they have no policies to, to fight. I mean, they're very canny, uh, I think. You know, they've got the policy on aspiration where they're going to put VAT on mm. school fees. But, I mean, apart from that, what else are they going to do? So um, I think it's difficult to fight. But, I mean, if he takes the, our recommendations on families and other retail policies... Um, We've still got months before the election. Yeah. Things change around very, very quickly. And actually, Starmer and the Labour Party, what are they offering? Yeah. You know, so... so take the fight to Labour is your conclusion, Lord Take Palmer. the fight to Labour with retail policies like a family budget. Brilliant. Lord Farmer, thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Former party treasurer, GB News shareholder. And supporter. And supporter. Thank you very much.